Guys, some tasks don't feel difficult, just repetitive. Like adding captions to every short video or manually moving files between apps. That's where Submagic changes the game, turning those tedious steps into an invisible background process. It's a real productivity boost. I'm Daniel. Welcome to my channel where I make smart tutorials. Folks, today we're checking out a smart platform that makes your content production framework way easier. We'll see how to set up an API key, link Submagic to Google Drive, and automate everything with N8N. Also, I've left all the useful links in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. Let's jump right in. Okay, my friends, time to see what Submagic is all about. This AI-powered platform is for creating viral short videos with automatic subtitles and visual effects. It helps you streamline up to 70% of your content creation workflow. That means less time spent on editing and more time actually creating. Here's the most interesting part, guys. The service now offers API access. This opens up connections to automation platforms like Zapier and an 8N. You can even link it directly to popular services, such as Google or YouTube. Folks, the first thing we need is an API key. Head over to your account, generate the key, and make sure to save it. Once that's done, it's time to link Submagic with Google Drive through N8N. There are step-by-step -step instructions available to guide you through the process. Now, guys, we download the JSON workflow file, containing all the pre-configured settings for you. It's easy to load into N8N, which initiates the automation setup. You can read the detailed documentation for the Submagic API and get expert help on how it works. Whether you're building something simple or more advanced, the docs have you covered. Let's proceed to N8N, folks. For this, just go to the Credentials section and create a new one called Google Drive. Then enter your client ID and client secret to enable the connection. In the Workflows section, hit the three dots and select Import from file. Choose the JSON you downloaded and load it in. Guys, let me take a little break to ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free, but helps me make even more fun tutorials for you. Thanks! Let's take a look at what this workflow consists of. The first node is a webhook. Click on production URL and copy the link. This will be the trigger for your automation. Further down, folks, you'll find an HTTP request. Open it and paste your link where it says your webhook URL. Here you can also adjust the settings, such as language, title, and so on. For example, Magic Zoom adds seamless effects that make your videos pop, while Magic B-Roll brings in dynamic footage to keep viewers engaged. And guys, you can tweak these settings here to match your style. These values define what the final piece will look like once the system does its job. Next up, nodes linked to Google Drive. They use the credentials you just set up, so everything connects without extra steps. Folks, one of these nodes will create a folder inside my drive called Submagic Exports. This folder acts as the starting point for video conversion, collecting all the files that need processing. Another node called Google Drive Trigger will put uploads in a folder named Submagic Videos. Once everything's ready, just click Execute Workflow and watch it run, guys. You'll see real-time results, including any errors or messages. This live feedback helps you catch any issues immediately and keeps the process transparent. Finally, folks, let's check out the finished output in the export folder. This workflow shows how the platform connects with Google Drive. Moreover, you can build similar flows with other tools, and everything runs successfully. The flexibility here means you're not locked into one setup, guys. It adjusts to whatever tools you currently use. So, friends, let's sum it up. We explored what Submagic does, connected it to N8N and Google Drive, and walked through every step using an automated sequence. The result is a smooth, effortless process that delivers polished videos without extra work. If you want to speed up your workflow and keep your content looking sharp, definitely give this setup a try. If you're excited to try it out, or if you've already used it and have some thoughts to share, drop a comment below, I'd love to hear your experiences. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, until next time.